Turley a really nice job. We decided to run him out there and pitch Santiago tomorrow. Uh, give Sonny an extra day on his rehab. So we needed a we needed five or so, and it was tough because Turl had three days rest, hadn't made 76 pitches about two or three weeks ago, so we wanted to be a little bit careful. He's a big, strong guy. He probably could have given us 90 or 100, who knows, but we, wanted to, we didn't want to risk that. So he was great. The two, the two kids did a really nice job, uh, obviously. Uh, Granny hasn't been on fire like he was when he left, but, boy, that was a pretty big swing. Carver had a nice day. Uh, always nice when you're the third base coach and you make a bad decision have a club pick you up too and uh, it's funny I've been doing this a long time and you know managing a game is it is what it is your coaches do what they do but once the game starts I, you know the third base coach has got the toughest job to me in the world and I can look at the charts and make decisions as a manager but uh, I pulled the trigger Mar what a great play from Martinez but I pulled the trigger way too soon and maybe took us out of a even bigger inning two we got so Paul became a big old Oh, yeah. inning to, you oh, know. Yeah. No, 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 for sure. And, uh, you know, I mean, look, if I shut him down and we got the base loaded, somebody's still got to come up <laughs> big. But that cost us an out and a chance to at least add one more, maybe more. So that always bothered me. Um, so that was great. And, uh, yeah, I understand someone told me that uh, we got lost again. That's unfortunate uh, for them. <laughs> but uh, so, yeah, kind of right in this thing. Big game tomorrow. Quick turnaround with the day game. So it's, um, you know, we'll get a look at Bard. We'll get a look at, you know, a few new guys and, uh, and lean heavily on the guys that have been here all year doing a good job for us. I mean, Granite comes back down. That's his first time going through that. I mean, do you expect? You know what, Kev? I, that's a great question. And, you know, again, I, everybody's a little different. We've seen guys come back in that situation. I've seen Buxton come back here and just wear it out. Mm -hmm. uh, I, you know, I, I just don't know, um, you know, I don't think, you know, in, in terms of Buxt or Granny or the guys that have come back and done well, they're mentally tough kids, they deal with that kind of stuff very well and they go about their business. And I think that's exactly what Zach has done coming here and he's just, he just hasn't put the ball in play the way he was. Nobody was going to put the ball in play. By, oh, by the way, <laughs> you know, nobody was as hot as this guy before he left. It's impossible to maintain that. But um, it was a big and, – and, you know, and it was on the heels of about four or five balls, I think. It was a nice long at bat. He kept himself alive and then finally got a pitch that he could drive. Um, so it would be great to see him heat up, <laughs> heat up the way he was when he left and uh, and get himself back to Minnesota while he's, while he's healthy.